Happy Friday, everybody. So one of my healer friends who was going through a lot of deep, deep pain messaged me this morning saying, I think I'm coming out of it, but I don't want to jinx myself. So the messages that were coming through, they were more like, it comes in cycles and waves. And depending on how many lifetimes, how many life cycles, the experiences that you've had, depends on the deep cleaning that you're receiving. That again, this goes all the way back to the beginning of the corruptions of our DNA, but we're never going back to original source. We're just getting cleaned and polished enough for more light to get through. So they were showing me like a sink, like a bathroom sink and you're running water and it's just really, really slow. It's slow to drain, just won't drain very well, but you get used to it and it becomes normal. And then all of a sudden the drain opens up a little bit and more can flow through it. So that analogy is what is happening with the, uh, the power washing that our DNA is receiving right now. And through its power washing, now it can be exposed to more quality um, life force energy from our God source of the universe, right? So it's like, we're just cleaning up the debris and it's being done on our behalf by all of the beautiful angelic galactic source light beings, as well as those who are here planted on the earth. And then mother Gaia is doing all the work as well. So it's a complete collaboration. Now, why is it affecting some more than others? Again, it goes into how many lifetimes, how many experiences, how much corruption has been going on, um, how many cycles of life that you've had and incarnations of where you've had them and how much drama, trauma is stacked upon and filling those DNA cells. And so some of us were just getting hit a little harder. Now they were also telling me the more aware of this you are, the more amplified it can feel. And so again, it can feel like a, like a death, like you're just dying. You just don't understand you're taking care of yourself. Why are you getting hit with something, something again? And again, it's coming out with reproductive organs. It's coming out in bone and muscle. It's coming out in respiratory. It's coming out in digestive. It's coming out with heart palpitations. It's coming out in circulation. It's coming out in swollen lymphatics. It's coming out with fog brain. It's coming out with, now what happened here? For example, you know that little band-aid I had on my head from my dermatology appointment. She saw something and she wanted to biopsy it. So she just cut a little piece out of there and it came back basal cell. Okay, am I supposed to say that's because of my corrupted DNA or I'm not living a healthy lifestyle? No, it comes from repetitive sun exposure and the breaking down of the cell and a mutation issue. So it's nothing that I have to blame myself for and become a victim you know, and feel like, why is this happening to me? I just know that there's ways to go in and release that cellular area that's corrupted and it will require a scalpel. Yeah. So it is what it is, my friends. It is what it is. Now, the good news is it started lifting. I could feel it lifting for me in the wee hours of Eastern Standard Time here in DC. So you all may start feeling some of this lifting. Now I'm hearing right now, yesterday was 111 and the year or something added up to another 11. So it was 11, 11, 11. Okay. Spirit tells me never to play with those portal numbers ever because it's a man-made calendar, number one. 
And number two, it's different across the world. So is it your 111 or is it my 111? And, and who's opening and closing these portals because it's a one? I have to pay it no mind. So it has nothing to do with the date. Nothing to do with the date is what Spirit keeps saying to me. So don't get all caught up in all of that. Because once again, it's a distraction. It's going to create a distraction that doesn't just allow you to marinate in what is happening to you, for you, through you, around you, surrounding you, internally, externally, and everything in between. So really go into the depths of this pain and this weirdness that might be happening within yourself. Really try to experience the metamorphosis and the... Um, genetic changes that are happening on a level that you just and I'm hearing even the best of scientists are not going to understand it so we are not born scientists and physicists that's something that is learned um, so stop trying to be one because you're getting all up there and you're giving that mental monkey monkey mind a lot of momentum and that my friends is going to spin your emotional wheels. It's gonna spin your physicality. It's gonna spin your etherics. But if you can just be in it and say, hey, hey, hello body. I'm seeing, sensing and feeling ya. I'm loving ya. You're letting me know I'm of physical density here and I'm okay. I'm okay. Thank you for reminding me. I'm gonna slow my roll a little bit. I'm going to reach for something of higher nutritional value. I'm going to have higher nutritional value thoughts. So I'm reaching for my spiritual hygiene, my spiritual toolbox, because I am a spiritual athlete. So they gave me the word spiritual athlete years ago, and I do use it from time to time. We are spiritual athletes. That's right. And we're not here all running the same course. Our courses may be different, but the destinations are the same. So try not to figure out what you know. Start in this moment and say, how am I feeling? And how can I be the best that I can be in this moment of what it is that I'm feeling? And if you need help on this journey, embodimentofthesoul.com, reach out. Now, while you're doing that thought, I want you to take your finger, hit like, subscribe share leave me a comment if you have a Facebook channel or you have another way to post this video out and share it perhaps someone else doesn't really know what's going on they're like oh this is something on a spiritual level that's affecting me psychologically and my physicality oh So it may be a light bulb aha for them if they're listening to someone, someone like me giving messages from my team. My bouquet of beautiful guides that love to tell me the reality of it. That's right. And then I have to put it in my words because I'm a realist and I got to be raw and I got to be authentic and I can't really take a lot of notes and I can't really remember a lot of things so I just have to make a little bullet points and then come on and say it as they're sharing it with me from that so I, I just speak from the heart that's how much of a realist I am so anywho huh like subscribe share see y'all another video be in your cellular self love thyself get out there and absorb some s-u-n yes indeedy and wear some mineral sunscreen so that you're helping to protect because remember this is a screen door it lets a lot of energy in and a lot of energy out so if there's a lot of chemicals and a lot of things going on molecular structures changing you want to sort of protect your your skin sleeve yeah it's your suit so put a little bit of mineral zinc sunscreen on all right stay away from the chemicals much love bye